हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लॉ इन मैग्नेटिज्म व्हिच इज कॉल्ड बायोसवेट्स लॉ बायोसवेट्स लॉ इज यूज्ड टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर वी ऑल नो दैट अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर इज अ सोर्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो वी इफ वी नीड टू फाइंड द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट अ सर्टेन पॉइंट अराउंड दैट करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर we can use biosavets law how we can use this what is the formula what is the direction of the magnetic field and some examples everything is going to be discussed in this topic so let us say that this is a current carrying conductor and this this is a wire which is carrying current and the direction of current is suppose this so current is i suppose and we have to find the magnitude of magnetic field at this point p which is around the conductor okay so what it says to explain the biot savet law what the biot savet law says we have to take some more variables just listen carefully take a very small part of this conductor this this part this is a very small part of this conductor and suppose the length of this part is dl now if we multiply the length dl this length the, the length of this part this very small part which is shown by this pink color this this very small part this is a very small part on the conductor and length of this part is dl if we multiply dl by i we get something which is called a current element current element which is i into dl it is a vector whose direction is the direction of the current right so i into dl is a vector whose direction is this so it is called current element right so i is the current dl is the length of this small part and next variable is <coughs> a vector r which is drawn from this current element towards the point we have to keep the tail of this vector at the current element and the head will be at the point where we are supposed to find the magnitude of magnetic field and this vector is r clear so dl r i this everything should be clear to you and this angle which is the angle between dl and r the angle between current element i dl and r this angle is theta so the magnitude of magnetic field at point p depends upon r it depends upon dl it depends upon i and it depends upon theta so according to biosavets law magnitude magnitude of magnetic field magnitude of magnetic field at p due to not the whole conductor because we do not know the shape of the conductor the size of the conductor so biosavets law gives the magnitude of magnetic field at any point due to this small part only and if we find if we want to find the magnetic field due to the whole conductor we will use integration but that is a separate thing because we can integrate only when we know that what is the length of the conductor and what is the what is the shape of the conductor and some other dimensions but if we do not know anything about the conductor we are taking just a very small part on the conductor and for that part magnetic field is very small so magnitude of magnetic field at p is db so biosavets law says that this db is directly proportional to i clearly this magnetic field is due to the current in the conductor so obviously it will depend on the value of current and more the current more will be the magnetic field at this point so db is directly proportional to i second this db is directly proportional to dl more is the length of this 
करंट एलिमेंट मोर विल बी द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज दिस करंट एलिमेंट इज द सोर्स ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो मोर इज द लेंथ ऑफ द सोर्स मोर विल बी द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट पॉइंट पी नंबर थ्री दिस डी बी डिपेंड्स अपॉन साइन थीटा साइन थीटा इज साइन ऑफ दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल इज क्लियरली द एंगल बिटवीन डी एल एंड आर सो एवरीथिंग शुड बी क्लियर सो दिस डी बी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू साइन थीटा एंड लाइक एनी अदर फील्ड ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड और इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन इट डिपेंड्स इनवर्सली ऑन द स्क्वेर ऑफ द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सोर्स एंड द पॉइंट वेयर वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो दीज ऑल आर द फैक्टर्स ऑन विच द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड डिपेंड दिस इज वॉट द बायोसेव लॉ सेज सो लेट्स अराइव एट द फाइनल फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉ इफ वी कंबाइन वन टू थ्री एंड फोर वी कैन से दैट डी बी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू आई dl sin theta and inversely proportional to r square so divided by r square and we know that when we have to remove the proportionality sign and in place of proportionality sign we have to put the equality sign then a constant must be included in the formula so so in this case that constant is mu not divided by 4 pi mu not divided by 4 pi so the complete formula becomes mu not divided by 4 pi i dl sin theta divided by r square this is the complete form the final form of the biosevets law and this is just for the dl part this magnetic field is just due to this small part if we want to find the magnetic field due to the whole conductor so we must know the other parameters like the length of the conductor the shape of the conductor and for example if if the shape of this conductor is suppose circular and we have to find the magnetic field at the center then we we can use this formula to find the magnetic field due to a very small part and then we will integrate within proper limits to find the total magnetic field at the center so that can be done using biosevets law okay so this mu not this mu not where should should i write it uh okay uh i'll write it on the next page this mu not is called this mu not is called magnetic permeability magnetic permeability of of free space magnetic permeability of free space free space means air or vacuum we are assuming that between this conductor and this point is either air or vacuum so if air or vacuum is present between the point and the conductor we will use the value of mu not as 4 pi divided by 4 sorry 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 and what will be the unit of mu not unit of magnetic field intensity the magnitude of magnetic field is also called the magnetic field intensity unit of magnetic field intensity is tesla so what will be the unit of mu not tesla meter square dl is the length which will be in meter okay let's write it here so uh, the unit of mu not is what tesla take this r square on this side so it is meter square divided by take this i in the denominator ampere take this dl in the denominator meter and sin theta has no units so it becomes tesla meter per ampere mu not the unit of mu not is tesla meter per ampere 
so it is so it is 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere so if we put the value of mu naught in the formula 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 then 4 pi and 4 pi will get cancelled out and 10 raised to power minus 7 is the only thing which is left as a constant in this formula but only when air or vacuum is present at this space if there is some other medium like water like benzene like oil between the conductor and the point then we have to use the magnetic permeability of that medium right so the ho whole formula remains same suppose here you have water this this uh, current carrying conductor is dipped in water then at a distance r if you want to find the magnetic field due to this small element you will write mu magnetic permeability of water mu w whatever its value is all other things will remain as it is correct okay now let's discuss the vector form vector form vector form of biosavet's law so db is what db is mu naught divided by 4 pi i dl sin theta divided by r square now if we multiply this and divide this by r what we will get in the denominator it is r cube and in the numerator it is i dl r sin theta right and dl is vector r is vector and sin theta is present so sin theta is present in the cross product of vector so in the vector form we can write db as i cross product of dl and r dl cross r divided by r cube so this is this is what this is the vector form of biosavets law and simply you must have studied in cross product of vectors then that the direction of db is perpendicular to dl and r and how we find the direction of a cross b direction of a cross b we find the direction of a cross b using the right hand screw rule or the right hand thumb rule suppose in this case we have to find db depends upon the cross product of dl and r right db depends upon the cross product of dl and r so to find the direction of db we have to put this hand on dl such that the fingers of this this hand curves towards the vector r okay if this is the direction of dl right so if we put the fingers in this direction we are able to turn these fingers on the left hand side but the vector r is on the right hand side so we cannot put this hand in this direction we have to make sure that if we are putting this hand dl on this hand on dl in this position in this position or in any other position these fingers must turn towards vector r it is possible only when 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 we are putting this hand on dl in this position only then these fingers will turn towards r that means the direction of thumb gives the direction of a cross b that means thumb is coming the direction of thumb is what the direction of thumb is into the plane that means the uh, the direction of magnetic field at point p is into the plane and the direction which is into the plane is shown by cross and if the direction of magnetic field was out of the plane we show it by putting a dot with a circle without the circle that doesn't matter right so the direction of magnetic field at this point is into the plane you can simply find the direction of db by using 
the direction of dl cross r vector for that you have to revise the cross product of vectors so direction of db is simply the direction of the vector which is dl cross r right so this was biot law in next video we will be discussing the applications of biot law and uh, for those applications this law should be clear to you each and everything should be clear to you and that is what was done in the video. I'll meet you in the next lecture. Till then, all the best.